The tension between U.S. President Barack Obama and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin appeared evident at the annual Heads of State lunch in New York. The two gave conflicting speeches at the start of the United Nations General Assembly. The Syrian conflict is one of the issues at the heart of the frosty relations. Obama says the U.S. is willing to work with Russia and others to end the fighting, but not leaving Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in power. The United States is prepared to work with any nation, including Russia and Iran, to resolve the conflict. But we must recognize that there cannot be, after so much bloodshed, so much carnage, a return to the pre-war status quo. Putin, on the other hand, says there's no alternative than to cooperate with Assad's forces to combat Islamic State militants. He reiterated his position at a news conference after the two held a 90-minute meeting. I relate to my colleagues, the American and French presidents, with great respect. But they aren't citizens of Syria and so shouldn't be involved in choosing the leadership of another country. It's serious business. Although, of course, this is a deep and bloody conflict, so this is why I said that supporting the official authorities in the fight with the terrorists, we, at the same time, will insist on a political solution and a political process. Despite the disagreement over Assad's future rule, Obama's openly acknowledged the influence of both Russia and Iran in Syria, both are staunch backers of Assad. Obama and Putin have nonetheless agreed a diplomatic solution to the crisis is needed. They've also agreed that their respective armed forces in the region should hold talks to avoid coming to conflict themselves following Russia's recent military build-up there.